Next, his skin color. How had he seemed to change from black to white? We know from his autopsy that Michael Jackson had vitiligo, this skin condition that causes blotches. And so Michael's logic was, rather than trying to sort of put on creams and lotions every day to match the color of these blotches, he would just lighten the whole thing up. It's obvious that Michael Jackson spent a lot of time bleaching his skin. What do you say to people who say, well, when Michael Jackson was a boy, he was a black kid, and now as an adult, he looks like a white man? Well, you got to ask God that. That has nothing to do with me, OK? And what that's, you, that's what, ignorance. What do you mean it's got nothing to do with you? I don't control, you know, puberty. I don't control the fact that I have vitiligo. I don't control, you know, uh... What's interesting is we get uh, two or three small indicators. So first, we have a single-sided shoulder shrug. So from his right shoulder, we see it raised slightly when he's talking about his condition. I don't control... You know, uh... And uh, this we, is a partial gesture. In its full extent, a, a full gesture would be shoulders up and hands outwards. I've no confidence in what I'm just saying. And we see this so often as leakage from maybe one hand or one shoulder or from both shoulders, but only a small amount, when people are being deceptive. We've also got a, a smile uh, appearing from his lips. It's not a full smile, so it's this flash of pleasure something that we call duping delight. So duping is fooling and delight is pleasure. So is this the pleasure you get from fooling someone? And we have this very, very tiny um, head shake no. It's millimeters, you just watch the tip of his nose. And so for two, three frames here, we've got a micro head shake no. So he's making an affirmative claim, yet his body, his smile and his head seem to be suggesting that that isn't true. <laughs> Michael mentioned the skin disorder, the vitiligo, that became famous, actually, after his Oprah interview. Does your brother, to your knowledge, have vitiligo? To my knowledge, I've never known of a skin disease in my family. Are you saying that your brother is lying about having a skin disorder? I'm saying I've never known of a skin disorder in my family whatsoever. Okay. Now, you and Michael seem to have very similar complexions. Yeah? Do you have vitiligo? Absolutely not. He had a doctor prescribe medicine for him. What the medicine was, was something for his skin. And. I recall them coming in very large quantities, boxes. Yes, they were written in someone else's name. And he would apply it. And I would say, Michael, you don't know what this is. This could give you cancer. You have no idea. I got a medical book so I could look up the names that were on it to find out what he's putting on. When I got the book and I got the medicine together, there was nothing on the medicine. What do you mean? In other words, there were no ingredients. There was nothing there for me to read, to go by. And I said, you don't know what you're doing to yourself. You can get cancer, skin cancer, or anything. But it didn't matter to him. What did he say? He's never been happy. He's always been unhappy with his looks all his life, all his life. So the medication was a, a cream? It was a cream. It was in a cream form, yes. Mm -hmm. And you saw form. him apply it? Oh, yeah. So that you have firsthand? Oh, yes, definitely. I saw, I, the, I, saw I know the guy who would bring the boxes over. 